If you are a dude in 21st century, then I'm pretty sure that you have faced this problem at some point of your life. The problem is texting. You might be texting somebody and the conversation might be going completely amazing and all of a sudden they stop replying. Or you met somebody and the conversation went really well and you think that, oh wow, this is going to go somewhere. And then you go home and then you text them and they do not reply. They see your message but they don't send any reply. And let's say that if you're talking to somebody, you are trying to be very interesting and you're trying to be very fun. But the thing is, they're always replying in one word or they're always replying very boring and logical way and they're not putting any kind of effort into building the interaction forward. And you are left wondering, what is happening? What am I doing wrong? How can I improve this? How can I improve my text communication? Texting is something that looks very simple, but if you go beneath the surface, then it's very, very uh, complicated and it's very kind of vague. Some people say that you have to be very funny. Some people say that don't uh, put any efforts into texting. So in this video, we are going to break down what exactly it takes to build your text communication and how to improve your texting starting from today. My name is Rahul and you're watching Manoverse, a conversation for men. We talk about dating, personal development and social dynamics. If you're new to this channel, then please subscribe, like the video and uh, hit the bell icon because every time I'm going to upload a new video, uh, you will be notified about it. Before I, I dive into the topic, I want to address the point that I have seen a lot of guys who are very amazing at a one on one conversation, who are very confident, who look very good. So they always get good responses. People talk to them, people respond well to them. But when it comes to texting, they are also left wondering what went wrong. What could I have done to avoid these? What could I have done to uh, make this work? They always tell me that uh, Rahul is very easy to talk to someone in real life. But when it comes to texting, dude, I just don't know what to do and what to say. So the problem lies in, in real life, if you're talking to someone, it is very hard to misinterpret what they're saying. It's very hard to uh, take something in a wrong way. Why? Because they are present right in front of you. You can look at their facial expression. You can look at their eye contact. You can look at their vocal tonality. You can look at their body language. They will give you signs, verbal or non-verbal, when they are enjoying talking to you or when they are not enjoying talking to you. So in real life, understanding what is going right and what is going wrong uh, is very easy. But on texting, that is not the case. On texting, uh, there are two problems. The first problem is you have no idea what the other person is doing or what is happening at uh, their end. They might be sleeping, they might be in an important meeting, they might be having sex with someone, they might have uninstalled Tinder or Bumble or Instagram or they might have simply blocked you or uh, there are so many messages that your message just didn't reach to them. There can be so many things that might break your interaction with a girl if you're talking on text. The second major problem comes is uh, a lack of feedback. If you're texting somebody, the problem is you're never gonna know like what is the exact reason they stopped texting. And since there is a lack of feedback, you cannot improve upon it. So let's take an example. If you are out there in a club or a bar or in a mall and you see, if you see a very cute girl and you wanna talk to her, you go and start a conversation. If she wants to talk to you, she will talk to you. If she doesn't want to talk to you, she will not talk to you. Let's say and assume for a, a moment that you don't know game, you don't know how to interact with people or you don't know cold approach. Then if you go and start talking, they might say that, hey, excuse me, I don't want to talk to you. I'm waiting here for someone. Then you will understand that, okay, this conversation did not work out because she was waiting for somebody. So obviously she's not going to talk to me. But on text, you don't get any feedback as such. Also in real life, people can see your uh, facial expressions and eye contact. So if you're a confident guy who has a smile on his face and who is uh, funny and who is speaking loudly, then it is very hard to misinterpret. Even if you're saying something a little bit silly or a little bit out of place, they are going to go along with it because you are bringing good energy. You're bringing positive energy into the interaction. So. Knowing about everything, how can we still develop and improve our texting? What can we do right now from today that is going to give you uh, good results? That is going to take the interactions that you want to move forward and uh, how to improve upon this idea. The first thing that I want you guys to stop doing right now is using a lot of questions. Instead of questions, try using statements. So let me like define what I mean by questions and statement. 
The first thing is you can ask somebody, hey, what's up? How is the day going? And fine, there is nothing very bad about it. There is nothing very evil about that question itself. But the thing is, unless and until they really like you or unless and until they are really uh, attracted to you, there is no reason or there is no incentive for uh, them to respond well to you. They might completely ignore your message and that will be completely fine for them because if you talk to them or if you don't talk to them, it doesn't matter. You are a new person. You are a random guy in their life that is texting them. The second thing is, with questions, some people take questions to a very next level. For example, some people will ask, hey, what's up? What are you doing? What are you eating? What are you wearing? Uh, do you want to go out? Where do you want to go out? They will start bombarding a girl with questions. And trust me, not just a girl, but even if you start bombarding me with questions, I'm gonna stop replying to you completely. Instead of asking those boring and stupid questions, you can go with statements. So statements have a very good quality about them. That is, they can include a context and they can include a emotion. So for example, uh, let's say that if uh, you text a girl, hey, what's up? I was just coming back from the office. I saw a dog who was doing hula hoops and it immediately reminded me of you. This text or this opener, whenever you send it to somebody, it does not require them to respond to you. This opener is a very friendly, very funny opener, which is very hard to misinterpret because this is very silly. This is very funny. So obviously a dog doing hula hoops is a funny sight. And if people are imagining it, then they are going to laugh. Another example that I'm gonna use, and you can use these texts right now uh, is like, Hey, I need to talk to you. I think I'm pretty sure that I'm pregnant. So how much wine can one drink while they are pregnant? So again, you are a guy, you cannot get pregnant. This is just a joke. Statements help you in sparking an emotion and it giving you a feeling. Unless and until uh, somebody is feeling something while talking to you, you are uh, developing an emotional response in them. They're not going to remember you. They're not going to talk to you or they're not going to be influenced or attracted by you. The first thing is use statements rather than questions and use statements which have some kind of emotional nature to it which have some kind of humor in it second big mistake that many guys make is uh, they either wait too long to text someone or they either uh, reply to someone too quickly for example there are guys who are always sitting behind their phone who are always waiting when she will text her when the girl uh, sends a text whenever they see any kind of notification they immediately jump on the phone i'm like dude chill out you don't have to reply immediately when somebody texts you. You can take five minutes, 10 minutes to reply. This is your normal day. You have a guy who has different things going on in your life. If you always reply to somebody within a few seconds of them texting you, then it implies that uh, you, don't have a, you don't really have a life. You are sitting there and you're waiting for when they text so that uh, you can talk to them. So you, this is pretty needy and this is a pretty desperate behavior. Please stop doing this. Another thing is there is a rule in our dating community that you have to wait for three days in order to uh, text a girl. So if you meet someone, you have to wait three days before you send the first text. And I think that is a stupid rule because in today's, uh, in 21st century, in 2020, there are so many things happening in this world that people can forget about you like this in a few days. So even if the initial interaction went very well, you can completely go home and forget about them because new things keep coming to you especially with cute girls especially with beautiful girls because they are always bombarded with new requests they are always bombarded with different texts different call different people who want to hang out with them they are very in demand so if you wait three four days to text you she's not going to remember you most of the cases she's just going to forget and if you send a text she did not reply you will be left wondering what did i do wrong like why are girls like this then you're going to blame girls or then you're going to blame uh, texting third thing that uh, i want you to understand is have an abundance mindset you are living in a world which has seven billion more than seven billion people in it in your own town there are millions of people who you can connect to it doesn't matter how weird you are or how special you think you are there is always someone who will connect to you most of the times it's not that you are not attractive it's not that there is something wrong with you or there is something wrong with your uh, interaction or communication skills most of the time uh, the basic problem is that guys are uh, approaching a wrong demographic guys are trying to uh, be friends or attract the wrong demographic of girls maybe these kind of girls are not your cup of tea 
maybe uh, you would be better off with girls who are a little bit nerdy maybe you will be better off with girls who are into bikes maybe you will be better off with girls who are into music so you have to understand that there is abundance there is abundant of women in this world you are not going to run out of women so don't be very needy whenever you are texting someone you should always be texting a couple of people you should not be texting just one or two people you should be texting at least 5 to 10 different people at any point of time if you are texting just like one or two people you are always going to put too much pressure on yourself so you are going to face uh, things like performance anxiety you are going to put too much pressure on yourself and they will feel it the girls will get an idea that this guy is very very insecure he is very needy he is kind of pushing it too much he does not understand how am I, how i am feeling he does not understand what is happening in the interaction right now and these things are going to hurt your chances a lot more so please understand that there are millions of girls out there that you're going to meet in your lifetime you have the option you have everything uh, in today's century from tinder to bumble to instagram to so many other dating apps you can go to bars you can go to clubs you can go to uh, daytime venues and you can start meeting people any time that you want so it is very important for you to have patience and if somebody don't want to talk to you it's fine let them go if somebody stops replying don't get butt hurt don't get sad don't get jealous don't get angry i understand that as a human being these feelings are uh, definitely going to come but you can have some kind of control on yourself you can say this to yourself that oh it's fine it didn't work out uh, let's see what i did wrong and try again so this is how you're going to improve whenever you face a problem don't get bitter instead get better the fourth point is learn to have fun and not take things too seriously if you're talking to someone the most important part of informal communication or a friendly communication is fun fun is a currency which is the biggest factor of whether this interaction is going to go somewhere or this interaction is not going to go somewhere if you are talking to someone and if you are having a lot of fun then there is a natural connect that is going to happen between you and the other person if you are not having fun or if somebody else is not having fun talking to you then that uh, interaction is going to completely die people are way too fucking serious while texting or while calling someone or while talking to women they act as if there is a stick in their ass they act as if like uh, they are talking to the prime minister or they are talking to the president of india and uh, like whenever you are putting so much pressure you are restricting your own personality to come out see expressing yourself and expressing your personality in communication is just like taking a dump if you put a lot of pressure and if you exert a lot of force on taking the dump then probably it is not going to happen but if you just let it happen if you just let it out it is going to go out so this is the case with personality this is the case with every kind of communication you are never going to reach at a perfect level of communication nobody in this world is perfect at communication but people what the best thing that people can do is that uh, get out of their own way and let their natural personality come out stop filtering yourself so much stop uh, censoring yourself and criticizing yourself so much stop judging yourself so much when you're talking to someone when you're talking to a girl please understand that you are talking to a human being and this is not a business communication this is not a professional meeting the communication is supposed to be friendly the communication is supposed to be intimate so you have to understand this fact whenever you are talking to someone focus on having fun and focus on uh, generating good emotions in the interaction the good experience in the interaction when somebody is having an ama- amazing experience talking to you then they are definitely going to like you then they are definitely going to want to stick around and get to know you more last but not the least the fifth part is instead of just texting try using smileys try using gifs try using funny audio clips or funny photos of yourself while you're doing stupid silly things or something interesting or when you're playing a sport or when you're playing a musical instrument try calling somebody so when it comes to texting people restrict themselves by thinking that they can only send text messages they cannot send gif so once again um, back in the days like in 2012 2013 we did not have such amazing phones phones were pretty simple and all we could have done was send text messages but right now we have the technology and we have the option of sending gifs of sending memes of sending audios there are so many things that you can include in your daily conversation 
there are so many things that uh, you can use creatively in order to put some emotion and in order to put some kind of storyline and narrative into the communication and that these little things do matter whenever you're talking to someone it's not about the content of what you're saying it's not about the right words the right punctuation that you're using most of the times it's about your vibe it's about uh, the frame of mind you're coming from it's about the narrative and the context of the interaction if you are going to make a conversation very serious and very intense then the other person is also going to mirror you the other person is also going to reply with the same vibe with the same serious vibe and whenever there is seriousness whenever there is logic and too much uh, analytical information there is no attraction because simple logic is logic kills attraction so if you feel that uh, if you're talking to someone and the conversation is going very logical take a moment take a step back understand that this is going very logical if you continue on this logical path the conversation is going to completely die and you are going to completely lose the girl logic kills attraction please write it down get it tattooed on your arm and remember this logic kills attraction so these were the five things that you can use right now in order to improve your text communication and in order to improve your online dating so let me recap everything right now in front of you so that you understand and remember so write it down and please remember this the first thing is use statements rather than questions the second thing is don't take too long to text someone don't take too long to reply and don't reply too quick don't always reply within a few seconds of somebody texting you the third thing is come from the abundance mindset not the scarcity mindset understand that there are millions of people out there you are going to meet uh, the kind of girls that you want to meet if you keep trying there's an amazing quote that i love is failure cannot overtake you if your determination of success is very high so you have to make a decision that no matter what i am not going to give up this is the third part the fourth is have fun while talking to someone don't take things too seriously unless and until uh, you are having fun with talking to someone the other person cannot have fun talking to you so you have to be free you have to be silly and the fifth part is use emojis use uh, gifs use audio messages use memes use funny pictures of yourself in order to talk to somebody if the communication or if the interaction is going very good then you can get them on the phone call there is a phone call is always going to be better than mere text message you can either get them on a phone call or either you can either get them on a video call so those kind of communication those types of communication are way more interesting and are way more powerful than just text conversations so these are the five things take it use it right now and then i'll see you in the next video bye bye